Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. This ain't your average Isuzu Rodeo. And I had to share it with you guys. I thought this would be something you would appreciate. This is a 1996 Isuzu Rodeo with the fuel injected V6 as it proudly advertises on the fender. Is that what it says? Fuel injected? No, it says 24 valve with the 24 valve V6. And we don't see a lot of these anymore. They all pretty much just disappeared. Uh, this one doesn't even get drove. Uh, I think the lady had a hip replacement or something and it doesn't even leave the garage. I've had this car three times in the past two years all for the same issue. And yes, it's got the spare on it. The tires are in pretty rough shape. But it keeps coming back to me like once every few months for a fuel pump. And we keep putting the cheap aftermarket replacements in it because it has a lifetime warranty. And I hate to have to keep doing it. But the reason being is she does not drive this car at all. She had that, or is, I'm not sure what, it's something medical like that. There's a reason that she doesn't drive it. So it just sits. But I needed you to see how nice this little rodeo actually is. And this is my favorite part. Five speed manual with a manual transfer case. It's got the original Isuzu stereo in it. Factory climate, uh, climate control with air. The air conditioning works, it's ice cold. It's got all power options. Everything works, the windows, the locks, horn, you name it. Uh, it's got the electronic tailgate pop and it has that because these are the two piece. It's got the spare tire mounted on the back. Pull this, the tire opens, it locks it into place. the rear hatch and then the bottom part I don't know if I can do this is a tailgate zoom out there we go unenhance as Eric says so you got a tailgate and then I'm trying to lift up with my knee and make sure that locked yeah it needs the struts for the hatch then you take your spare tire, pull your lock in. How freaking cool is this? This is like a time capsule. It does not have the original floor mats, unfortunately, but it's got 156,000 original miles. That's it. And keep in mind, this is a 96. I mean, she's not been, not been drove too much. But it comes to me every year, uh, multiple times for a fuel pump because she doesn't drive it, it just sits. She lives uh, down near the coast or something. Um, I don't know if it's like Myrtle Beach area or what, but somewhere down there. And uh, it keeps coming back here to get its fuel pump changed. We put the first one in it and it's got a lifetime warranty. So it eats a fuel pump. She takes advantage of the lifetime warranty and we put another one in it. The front left tire is a little low on air. As I mentioned, she just doesn't drive it. So it just sits a lot. But the synchros feel nice and tight. The trans feels good. The clutch feels good, I mean, there's no noise. It pulls good. And uh, she's looking to sell it. So if this is something that would interest anybody, you can shoot me a message or an email. 
that my email is under the about section of my page and let me know because she is looking to get rid of it uh, just because she simply can't drive it anymore my brother William actually wanted it really bad made an offer on it she just wanted a little bit more so I think probably 2500 bucks would buy this thing and get it gone and I mean it's nice like I said the steering wheel's not wore out <laughs> typical Japanese horn shocks feel good there's no noise no suspension noise whatsoever the brakes have a little bit of noise I think they've just got surface rust all over them this is the first time I've drove it since we put the other new pump in it and it fires right up every time we put a pump in it bam fire and i think if you were driving this car it'd be fine but it sits it, it just sits she's done she gets it back it goes back in her garage and that's the end of it i don't have my temperature gun with me but this air is ice cold coming out of these vents i mean door cards the carpet on the door the carpet in the car itself I mean everything is fantastic it's just beautiful now it did used to have the black trim that went up the doors and we actually removed that because most of it was already gone and it was hanging uh, you could take a rubber buffing wheel and some compound and get the left of the rest of this glue off see it'll just it'll come right off <clears throat> underneath if you're worried about rust there is none, even though it came from the coast. We usually get a bunch of rusty stuff from down at the coast. It's all in great shape. It's still got a converter on it. You can hear the AC cycling. Rockers, floor, frame. It's absolutely mint. And like I said, it's got a new uh, fuel pump in it. It's got the Reese hitch on the back. Looks like it's got a little battle wound here, but I don't know if you heard. Still solid. Just as clean on this side. Looks like it still has some paint marks from the factory on the frame. This truck has never been undercoated, never been sprayed. No film, no nothing. This is just absolutely immaculate. You can hear that v6 in there just ticking away it's got a freeman park pass on the window i thought i pulled the hood latch ah it's gonna take two of us how am i gonna do this i know how we'll do this watch this let's see That is the only problem I found. The radio volume button is wore out, or not wore out, I guess it just wasn't used, and uh, it sticks. So, like right now, the radio is automatically voluming up. So, do me a favor. Yeah. <laughs> pull on the hood while I pull the latch. Pull the latch, I hear. I'm, yeah, pull the hood up. Yeah. There you go. I was trying to show every... I probably need to. I was trying to show everybody the engine bay and I couldn't do it by myself. But there she is. The little Azuzu V6 that could. And I forgot to put the cover back on the fuse box where I pulled it for the fuel pump. This engine. Looks to be a 3.2 liter V6, timing belt driven. As far as I know, it's all original, so you'd probably want to go in there and put a timing belt in it and a water pump kit. You can hear a little bit of maybe lifter noise. Just a little bit of tick, tick, tick in the top end. It's not bad. As soon as you get the RPMs up, it goes away though. And you could probably flush the engine out real good and put fresh oil in it, and that would help you too. And you should. Come on, radio, cooperate. 
because I changed the oil in it a couple years back. I wish I was kidding. But there's my sticker for 159 for the next oil change. We're at 156. And uh, it hasn't gotten any more miles on it. So literally in the last two years, it hasn't went any miles at all. Yeah, I put 159.008. So 159,008 miles is when it was due. It now has 22, or let's see. I can't math right now, but anyway, it hasn't even went 3,000 miles on this oil change at all. It's, it's went literally less than 20 miles since I last changed it and sat for a few years. So it's got cruise control, all that works, hazard lights, all that stuff works, rear defrost works, rear wiper works, rear wiper sprayer even works. Uh, you're not gonna find a nicer one. It has power mirrors down here. It's got a armrest, the little center console, and then the bottom lifts up and you have more storage underneath glove box original owner's manual import documents from carmax all the original booklets with the little rodeo on the front of the book how cool is that your tire information airbag information you're not going to find a nicer one folks this is as nice as you're going to find it so the <laughs> Come on, radio, just cooperate with me for a second. But uh, intermittent wipers, I mean, this, this, I'd probably have to put a dang different radio in it because that would aggravate the snot out of me. But it runs good and it drives fantastic. So, I mean, make it your hunting rig, make it a daily, clean it up with a little bit of detail work. You could carry this to car shows i'm not even kidding we've got the matching spare or the matching wheel that goes on the back for it you have all your matching wheels you could get that trim glue off the side the paint's actually really nice on it it could be cut and buffed and it would look like a new car i mean literally getting close to what 30 years old almost now And the center cap's on the spare, so you can just put the wheel back on it, put the center cap back on it, four new tires, put the spare on the rear, and away you go. Got the luggage rack on the roof. Ah. But I don't think you'll find a nicer one. I've been privileged to work on this one and every time I see it it just tickles me and she still hasn't sold it somebody needs to scoop this thing up some nice like all terrain white letter tires on it like I said have it cut and buffed and get all that adhesive off the side this thing would be beautiful I mean beautiful and the miles are right. Well, that's going to do it for me, folks. I just had to make you see it to believe it. Like I said, the full drive and everything works on it. So if I shift it up to, uh, I shift it up to four high, and then you put it in any gear and creep forward, your indicator light comes on for full wheel drive. And uh, if I let the clutch out, let's see. Yep, she lurches away, we're in four high. Pull it towards you and down, pick a gear and bump it, and then that'll engage your four low. It doesn't have a separate indicator for four low. If it did, it doesn't work anymore. So here we go, now we're in four low, you let the clutch out. She just crawls, I bet we could take off in third. Oh. Yep, you can. That's third gear takeoff. Go back up to four high, and then down to the right for four low. Bump it in any gear, if you don't stall at first. Am I in between them? 
nope there it goes and the light goes out now you know you're back in two-wheel peel ready to hit the open road so thanks for watching folks drop a comment down below let me know what you think i'm gonna go clean up the shot where we're finished with this now and if you're looking for a nice little isuzu rodeo let me know because it needs a loving home and just like that we'll catch you in the next one gotta go work on some other old junk